Seems to be the matter now. It was running all right. I had the clothes all in there and started to do something else when it gave a horrible gasp and stopped. What stopped? The washer. This washer? It's the only one we have, Smedley. Oh, yes, of course. Yes. Well, if it was running all right, why did you stop it? I didn't stop it. It stopped. Did, huh? Well, start it up again and quit bothering me, will you? I'm changing the water in the bird's bath. But, dear, I'm trying to tell you it won't start up again. Oh, why not? If I knew, I wouldn't have called you. We'd better get a man over here right away. I have to have baby's things washed tonight. Get a man over here? What man? What am I, a mouse? Well, Smedley, you do like cheese. Uh, what can a man do with this machine that I can't? In the first place, he'd be a trained serviceman who knows what he's doing when he starts to work. Are you inferring that I don't know what I'm doing? Now, you see here, Cadelia, in times like these, we've got to do our own fixing. I personally intend to repair this washer myself. I don't propose to hire for passion... For, uh, you see, I don't know what I'm talking about now, but I reiterate, I do not intend to hire professional tinkerers for a simple job like this. All right, Smedley, go ahead. Ah, that's better, my dear, much better. But please hurry, because I've simply got to get baby's clothes washed and dried before evening. Well, all right. Now, let's see what we need around here. Well, the... Oh, yes, tools. To... Where are my tools, dear? Probably in your tool kit. Yeah, that's really... But where is the tool kit? Don't you remember, dear? No. It's up in the bathroom where you left it two days ago when you were going to fix that leaky faucet. Oh, that leaky faucet. i got to get around to that someday, yes. All right, dear, I'll go up and get the tools. I'll... No, don't you go, sweetheart. You stay right here. I'll get them. She wanted to hire a man. Why did I bring that down? I can't use that on this, I don't think. Uh, set that over there. Don't need that. Yeah, there's a nice tool. Put that with the handy ones. Yeah. I wonder what this is. Never saw that before. Wouldn't know what to do with it if I had it. Uh, just throw it. No, it might come in handy. Put it with the handy ones. Those are the no good, those are the handies. Put this here, how's that? Say, that's not a bad idea, huh? Ah. I'll fix it now. Ah, I found a place here, right here. Dear. Oh, it's just a cheap wrench, I guess. Have to leave it there. I'll get another one around. Oh. There's a handy instrument, dear. Oh, look, it come out. Huh? What do you know about that? Another piece. They're all loose. Everything is loose. Now to find a screw. Ah! Here's a screw. Oh, I got that off. And you wanted to hire a man. Ah! Oh, darn it. Ah! There's another 
Goldman. Stop watching me, dear. You got me all nervous. Uh, oh, it's coming out. Yeah, that's the stuff. You know I could do it. <laughs> Swallowed it, my dear. Well, we'll get another one, huh? Swallowed it. Oh, yeah, it's falling. Oh, look what's in here. It's oh, look. Uh. They sure put these things together. They're complicated, ain't they, dear? Well, why don't you say something? I'm waiting to finish my washing. Anyway, that's a silly question. It's been complicated for five years and never gave us trouble before. Oh, hurry up, Smedley. Oh, all right. He get a fellow so mad, he don't know what he's doing half the time. Oh! I broke it. Is this the Home Electric Authorized Service Dealer? This is Mrs. Smedley Sprout. Could you send a man out right away? My washer broke down in the middle of washing, and my husband has been trying to fix it. He has it all apart, but couldn't find the trouble, and now he can't get it back together again. I wish you'd hurry before he decides to sell it for scrap. Thank you. Smedley, mm -hmm. you're tired, aren't you? Mm -hmm. I'll get it fixed, though, dear. Don't you worry. I um, thought that you might be too tired to finish tonight, yeah. so I called the authorized service man at Home Electric. Oh, why did you do that, dear? I told you I could fix this thing. I know you did, Smedley, but after all, you've so many important things on your mind that... Foolish for you to wear yourself out on a job like this. Well, maybe you're right, my dear. Yeah. Well, I got it all apart and fixed anyway. All he's got to do now is put it together. That's the easiest part of the whole thing. There it is. Huh? Mr. Sprout has it all apart for you. Yes, I see he has. Mr. Sprout seems to have put in a lot of work here. That's right, Doctor. Yes, the operation was a complete success. Now all you've got to do is sew the patient up. <laughs> <laughs> Will you tell me what happened when the machine stopped running? Well, it's been having sort of a grinding noise for a long time. The noise got much worse this morning, and then all of a sudden the machine just stopped completely. Mm-hmm. Well, I think I know what caused the grinding noise. But here, what was wrong with the ringer? Nothing, as far as I know, but... Smedley thought the trouble might be there. Now, now, Cadelia, I just thought while I was working on the machine, I may as well clean it. Well then, Mr. Sprout, it seems that you have most of the hard work done. Why, certainly. Look at here. So if you don't mind, I'll just put the ringer back together again since I'm here, and then we'll check the whole washer. What did I tell you, Cadelia? I knew what the trouble was all the time. There, the ringer seems to be in perfect shape. Now let's check to see if we can find where the noise came from. Say, Mrs. Sprout, did you know that the plug was not all the way in the socket? No, I didn't know that. How could that have happened? Oh, it could happen in several ways. Perhaps you tripped on it. 
Well, I'll just plug it back in and we'll try again. Oh! There you are. Well, what do you know about that? And all because the plug was pulled out. I'll remember to check that first the next time anything happens. Yes, if your washer stops for no particular reason, it's always a good idea to check the plug first. Now, this noise can be corrected by a very simple adjustment. It doesn't hurt anything, so long as it isn't allowed to go on for any length of time. There, I guess that takes care of it. It seems a shame to call you out here for such a simple thing as this. I'm very grateful to you. Now I'll be able to get my work done. You see, my wife gets so excited. I was just about to check on those same things before you came. I guess women just not will understand how we men think. That's probably right in uh, some cases, uh, Mr. Sprout. At any rate, it's a good idea to have your washer checked regularly, just to make sure that it remains in good running order. In that connection, there are a few things I like to tell people about the use and care of their washer. Here, let me show you. In the first place, be sure that the pump, the activator, and the ringer controls are all off before you plug in the connecting cord. Otherwise, you may put unnecessary strain on the motor and mechanism, and this could shorten their life a lot if it becomes a habit. Then always fill the tub to this ridge before you put in the soap and the clothes. Because if not enough water's run into the tub, the clothes may bunch or absorb so much of the water that the movement of the activator is restricted. This, too, will place a heavy load on the motor. When you've finished washing and you're ready to wring the clothes, see that the activator here stops completely before you remove the garments. This will prevent any possibility of tearing the fabrics. Always remove and clean the activator after each use. Then, of course, wash the tub inside and out with soap and water. You see, Mrs. Sprout, a good deal of the material that's washed out of clothes is organic in character. And even a thin film left in the washer may become rancid in time and ruin that clean freshness, you know, that you expect to find in newly laundered clothes. This is very important. Release the pressure on the ringer rolls so that they'll stay round and smooth. Then wash them carefully with a mild scouring powder. Your dentist will tell you that a clean tooth isn't likely to decay. Well, neither will a clean ringer roll. Treat the cover the same as the rest of the machine and keep it clean, especially this rubber gasket here around the edge. Put the lid back on, but be sure to leave the tub partially open so that the tub can dry out. Remember this. Take the cord plug from the socket gently. Never yank it out. Because if you do, you take years off its life and keep the cord here dry and clean. Lower the pump hose here and drain the water out of it. This will not only help to preserve the rubber, but will prevent any possibility of stale odors. A good thing to remember in wintertime, especially if you store the machine in a cold place, is to bring it inside and let it warm up thoroughly before you begin to wash. <laughs> I guess I've done an awful lot of talking here. But I thought you might like to know these points on the use and care of your washer. I'm glad you told us. I'm sure I never would have thought of all this as being so important. Would you, Smedley? Of course I would. Anyone with an ounce of intelligence would figure those things out. I always said that nobody should monkey with a washer. That's right, Mr. Sprout. Now I have a sticker here I'm going to put on the machine. It's marked when you should have your washer checked again. Meanwhile, if any of your appliances need attention, my phone number's right here. That's fine. Thanks again for all your help. Now, if you just come with me, I'll get my purse. 